A stunning Saturday had the crowds flocking to 13th Beach as the third round of the Oatsvik Open began. Nicole Brock Larson didn't enjoy the same form that put her atop the leaderboard overnight. Wow! And her day went from bad to worse as she tumbled down the leaderboard with the 78 to finish 8 off the pace. It wasn't much better for fellow early pace setter Holly Clyburn as her luck went downhill. But it was a different story for Sue O. Oh, the ball's in the air, but not really. This has carried that bunker on the left. That was a big break there for Sue O because that bunker is nasty. As she rose to a share of second place with a spectacular birdie on the final green. Oh, <laughs> that is a perla from Sue O. There was no sign that an apparent injury was hindering Sandra Gell as she made her way through the field to finish tied fourth at 12 under. It was shots like this and oh, bingo that have Angel Yin perfectly poised going into the final day. But it was Britt Mal Reed who was the clear standout. So you're just down the slope and oh, wow. last gasp wow. and what a run she's having. She took the outright lead with Eagle on the fifth and never looked back. Yeah, all in all, it's, you know, I felt I left a couple of shots out there. But yeah, I mean, I feel like my swing's in a good place. I just need to hold a few more putts tomorrow. So with one round to play in the Oatsvik Open, it's Melissa Reed with a two-shot buffer from Angel Yin and Australian hope Sue O. Oh. Spain's Belen Motho, Her Jin Choi of Korea and German Sandra Gall are a further shot behind. Jake McLeod backed up his record-setting second round with some impressive shots early on day three of the Oatsvik Open. To see some golf. What about that? And the youngster held his nerve all the way through a tense afternoon. Oh wow! Wow, that's the second time, second hole in a row that he's hit the flagstick. Playing partner Dimitrios Papadatos struggled early as he battled to hold his lofty overnight perch, but he too hung tough to finish just two back. Fans took any mode of transport they could find to get a glimpse of some super golf including from past champ Richard Green, who roared back into contention with a 65. But Matt Giles owned the shot. And a wonderful shot from long range. Oh, he's held it! He's held it for Eagle! And he's, he doesn't know that it's got in. He can't see it from back in the fairway. And now, now he does. And the round of the day with his 65 setting the former champ up with a share of the lead heading into tomorrow's final round. What a part there from Matthew Giles. So with one round to play in the men's Oatsvik Open, it's Matt Giles and Jake McLeod atop the leaderboard at 17 under. Two shots clear of Jake Higginbottom and Dimitrios Papadatas, the two New South Welshmen at 15 under. Lucas Herbert and Peter Wilson of both of Victoria are also well in contention. 